So Costa Rica moving it around. Just outside the end zone, swinging it across, using the width of the pitch really well here. And a nice point to pull it even. This is, as we mentioned, it is that sort of game. Tidio rips it deep, and brilliant sky in the end zone for the goal. And of Eduardo Fabri, Miliaretto, he's already trying to use the full width to get that huck off. He's going low and around to Mosa, but it won't get there. The insta jack towards the far side line that doesn't come off. Felix, get out of the way! Low, collected, is Girotto. Girotto looks over the sideline, very exacerb not exacerbated, exaggerated feet. And with the lefty, visionary, absolutely visionary, just how they drew it up, Sean. Like Miglioretto, he is, he's a shooter and there's an extent to where you've kind of got to let him shoot, but obviously on a day like today, Sometimes you need to know whether that's maybe doing more harm than good. This one skies and posterizes the pack of receivers. Goes into the end zone or nearly dropped it. Did Bulgarelli, he tried his best. Hyrelli's backhand down the line, finds Van Barsen. Van Barsen looks for Mosa, doesn't like it. Still turns to find his reset. Excellent dump defense, just sneaks it past the ears of Rodriguez, but they can't make the catch. And another break chance here for Costa Rica. Down the far sideline. They've got options all the way across the pitch. That would have been an expansive blade, thumber, whatever they wanted to throw. And in these conditions, probably best that they holstered that one. Fantina, little dish into the middle, continued around. Bulgarelli, low, brilliant cut. Brilliant diving snag in this contest half. There is a half-time time cap at 45 minutes or half-time point cap at eight. As, well, he falls over fielding the pool, but he keeps his hands on it just about. And Francini sends it deep. And this one is well reeled in on the sideline by Ruscello. And he squeezes it with the offhand backhand. We are a group of ultimate players, coaches and video enthusiasts. We've worked with the major federations and the greatest events. We're on a mission to make Ultimate huge. We want our videos and live streams to be free to watch. We want to make stories that not only reach you, but also reach people outside the Ultimate community. Like and subscribe, Ultimate TV, the best in the world. Become a member and, and fund, fund our, our work, work to cover more events in the future and to bring more stories and live coverage to the eyes of the Ultimate world and, and beyond. beyond. Didn't like the upline cut to Miglioretto. Goes very far behind with the reset. Now down the sideline. Nice elevating grab. Hopped into the end zone as well. Yeah, it could be that the free speed guys are coming in a bit cold, coming in a bit wet and not quite up to speed. But whatever the difference here, Costa Rica is certainly making it count. So Costa Rica with a winding backhand on the pool. It wasn't the prettiest throw, but I'm not sure Costa Rica will care because it's found his target in the front of the end zone. The problem is they need to do more than just win the field position battle when you're down five points and now your opponent has the disc to make it six and lovely little bit of give go, taking advantage of those poached players to gobble as many yards as possible before the free speed defense really knows what sits them. That is a beautiful leading backhand. Mosa goes back to Miglioretto. Miglioretto with the hammer. Finds Brudelin, no! What a bid! Unbelievable! Yeah, I think the outstanding player of this game so far. I would not disagree with you there. It's a massive pull. So this can perhaps help to stymie the uh, motion of the offensive pull deep into their own territory. And Fantini's holding onto the disc for a while now. Goes towards the near sideline. Rustello. Low. Clap caught at the knees. Little pass inside. Finds Fabri. Must say, this is what we've seen 
from Rimini with a consistency that Free Speed haven't managed. They've had that ability to work the disc nicely down the field in this free-flowing Italian style, which we're so used to. And a lead throw towards the open side. Yeah, you've got the Costa Rica sideline right there. They look a little worried. Their coach, or one of their coaches, who's been holding a fly swatter the whole game, He's been waving it around all game. He's much less animated at the moment. Bit of worry now. Oh, no point in the fly swatter. There we it's go. A, it's a strong look, I have to say. I feel like there might be some symbolism or meaning behind that, or it could just be that it's funny, which I respect immediately. Mosa looks deep in the end zone. The Whaler goes into the center for Haas. He's put his hat back on. Mosa. To Bush. Bush to the end zone for the score. So the pool is going to be fielded by Costa Rica. You can tell there's a bit more intensity from both sides. Mosa comes through, doesn't catch it, gets away with it. Just about had enough speed to close the gap. Thought he was going to have to lay. Didn't need to. Moses powered the free speed comeback. He's powering it once more. 13-11. No, the Calper in basically anything I used to poke anyone is a Calper. And this one, while well, he telegraphed what he was doing, and against a player like Luca Miglioretto, you can't do that because he will foot block you with authority. Look how far that mark is standing off Miglioretto. I'm not sure that's a great idea given how good Miglioretto is with the disc. Well, it's, it's pick your poison. Do you get tight and, you know, get broken or do you get far off, try and give yourself a bit of reaction time? And, but again, don't, not, don't have the pressure on the throw. Mosa goes back into his own end zone. Rimini sideline getting loud. Well, they want to end the game in one way and that way is a Callahan. And they're going to do it! I've heard of commentator's curse, Benji. That was commentator's precognition. You said you didn't have it yet. I think you might do now.